All right, the rain is still coming down over the Schuylkill Expressway near the Art Museum tonight. Strong winds are whipping around the raindrops. As our temperatures drop overnight, those raindrops could possibly turn into snow. Yeah. We have Bill back with the very latest. Yeah, de definitely in our western zones, like Berks yeah. County, Lehigh Valley here. So, of course, we look at the morning commute in Philly. Like, is it going to snow? We're not getting snow on the ground or anything. It's not going to be like, you know, snow on Interstate 95. But... 7 a.m. maybe see some snowflakes uh -huh. there. That's what we're going to be watching. But for that's sure. a significant drop in temperature. Oh my goodness! From 60 to about 40. Totally. It, and you had the wind chills going from the yeah. mid 60s to the mid 30s. Major difference. Absolutely. Big, mm. big time. So let me show you. First, I want to start with the rainfall that we've had so far today because it's still raining outside right now. I mean, look at Dover, Millville. Two and a half, three inches. I mean, he's knocking on the door there. In Philly, we're at 1.64. We got 1.84 in Wilmington, about an inch and a half for Reading and Allentown. We're gonna, so we're going to settle in that inch and a half to three inch range. Some spots may be pushing a little bit more than that, up to four inches. We still have the flood watch out, which is the shade of green here for a majority of our area. The National Weather Service lifted the watch from our western counties, but starting to see a few areas of green, and those are active flood uh, warnings. Minor flooded, granted. Uh, Christiana River, uh, Wissahick and Creek, places like that where you'll get typical flooding spots that are a little bit minor. That's what we have right now. Now, the rain, as we go into the remainder of the evening, it's raining everywhere, and we do have pockets where the rain is coming down heavier. Now, the blue is the snow, and right now the snow's still back into central PA and areas north, but watch what happens overnight. The front has crossed, by the way. If you go outside, you can already feel the temperature starting to cool down. But in a few hours from now, say 3 o'clock in the morning, you guys out in the Lehigh Valley, say Reading and Berks County, Lancaster, areas farther south like Baltimore, that rain will transition to snow, and that snow line will push its way off to the east. But at the same time, the storm is winding down. So maybe 6 o'clock in the morning, Chester County, Delaware, Philadelphia, seeing a couple of snowflakes. But this moves out of here. Here's a look at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and then it's gone. So it's not like it turns to snow and snows until 11 or 12 or anything like that. So if you get any snow, it's not going to amount to much. The highest total is going to be up in the Poconos where maybe one, two, three inches of snow. But uh, that should be about it. A little bit of accumulation in you guys out west. But again, not a huge deal, should uh, be gone. Tomorrow, our story is, like Aziz and I were just talking about, the cold, um, the winds, the gusts. Right now, up to 30 miles per hour. They'll calm a little bit overnight, but I expect them to ramp back up tomorrow. So out the door at noon, winds gusting like they are right now, 25 to 30 miles per hour. The difference is the temperatures are going to be significantly cooler than they were today. So your day looks like this. That's why we're on weather alert. We're still going to keep the wind. We're still going to keep the uh, chance of showers for the morning hours, but things will start to clear on out. But look at these numbers. We're only in the 40s with wind chills. Let's say 38 at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Today, mid 60s. Tomorrow, the same time, into the 30s. And we're not going to be getting out of these 30s. That's where it's, for the most part, going to stay. The temperatures themselves will hang out below normal the next several days and then warm back up for the weekend. So once we get past tonight, we'll keep that weather alert for tomorrow because, of course, the wind and the chill that's going to be out there and your early morning snow. We're going on early at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Just to get you through any of it, if there happens to be some snow that's coming down, maybe you take the blue route and you drive into town, there could be some snow. I would doubt that there'd be accumulating snow on the ground, certainly on the interstates. Uh, but, of course, you know, Kate's in in the morning. She'll get you through all that. And then we have sunshine for the rest of the week. It's pretty quiet, and then we'll get into next weekend. Those temperatures bounce back into the 50s. All right. over here. Thank you, Bill. Well, you can always find the latest on your next weather forecast at cbsphiladelphia.com slash weather. And our morning team will be in a half hour early, as Bill mentioned, starting at 4 a.m.